Dear students, we have seen about the pre-issue obligations of the merchant banks and uh, bankers in the last video. In this video, we will see about the post-issue obligation of merchant banks. Post-issue obligation means the things after the issue of shares. Till the issue of shares, like from issuing the prospectus, registration of companies in the stock exchange, then similarly uh, getting the approval from SEBI, those all things are pre-issue obligation of merchant banks. Right? We have seen in the videos, last video. In this video, once the name of the company is listed in the stock exchange and we have got an approval from SEBI, so what are the obligation of merchant bank? Those are post-issue obligations. So the post, first is post-issue monitoring report. Merchant banker should get and ensure that the post issue uh, lead merchant banker shall ensure that submission of the post issue monitoring report has to be done and he has to monitor that uh, what way the issue has been done and uh, what kind of issue has been done whether the issue has been properly implemented or not whether if there is any problem or difficulty arising out of the issue it has to be said so the post issue monitoring report has to be prepared generated by the merchant banker and submitted to the management and the respected uh, authorities similarly due diligence certificate to be submitted with the final post issue monitoring report the due diligence certificate is the detailed study due diligence is nothing but the detailed study related to finance technical analysis and uh, the other analysis related to the issue in detail study and after doing that study the due diligence certificate has to be submitted with the final post issue monitoring report the post issue lead merchant banker shall file a due diligence certificate in the format specified along with the final post issue monitoring report right uh, along with the post issue monitoring report the merchant banker shall file a due diligence certificate in the format then comes redressal of investor grievance the investor grievance has grievance has to be produced if any investor has any problem or if any investor comes across any difficulty then those investors uh, will ask for the solutions and what solution has been provided grievance has been provided the post issue lead merchant banker shall actively associate himself with the post issue activity namely allotment refund and dispatch and shall regularly monitor redressal of investors uh, if any investor has any problems those grievance and those redressal has to be provided by the lead merchant bankers similarly coordination with the in intermediaries the lead merchant banker has a main role in post issue management regarding the coordination with the intermediaries the post issue lead managers shall maintain close coordination with the registrar to the issue any act of omission or uh, commission on the part of intermediaries shall be reported to the board so he should see that the there should be a very close coordination with the registrar of the issues with the investors and with the company and if there is any omission or commission uh, during the part of intermediaries he shall report those things to the board of directors that is also a post issue obligation of merchant banker similarly the merchant banker a lead merchant banker will act as underwriters the lead merchant bankers shall satisfy himself that the issue is fully subscribed before announcing closure of the issue the issue when it is made it is made till a particular date till that particular date the date of closure what you call till the date of closure the fully subscription has to be done for the shares fully subscription has to be done for the securities that has to be made sure by the uh, underwriters in other words we can call them as the merchant bankers the lead merchant banker shall ensure that the underwriters honor their commitment within 60 days from the date of closure of the issues. Sometimes even the lead merchant bankers are not playing the role of the underwriters. Some other party on behalf of 
the company they will play a role of underwriters so they should make a commitment within 60 days from the date of the closure of the issues right see in within 60 days from the date of the closure of the issue the commitment has to be made by the underwriters the lead merchant bankers furnish information respect of underwriters who fail to meet their underwriting developments to the organization suppose some underwriters they promised they made an agreement that they will uh, perform the underwriting job on behalf of the company but they fail to fulfill the requirement they fail to feel, uh, meet the underwriting uh, job in that case those all information has to be furnished to the respected parties then bank to issue the post issue lead merchant banker shall ensure that money received pursuant to the issue are kept in a separate bank bankers to issue as per the provision of section 73 subsection 3 of the companies act of 1956 so whatever money has been received right the money has to be kept in a separate bank account right separate bank account which is said as per section 73 subsection 3 of companies act 1956 and it has to be made sure by the lead merchant banker the money should not mix or the money should not be combined with the other aspects of the company right the issue price or money received should be kept totally separate in a separate bank account similarly post issue advertisement the post issue lead man merchant banker shall ensure that all issues advertisement giving details relating to over subscription basis of allotment numbers value and percentage of application received etc is released within 10 days right once the issue has been made within 10 days the advertisement has to be done by the post issue merchant bankers regarding the advertisement of issues over subscription allotment percentage of application so within the 10 days from the date of release has to be done now the basis of allotment in a public issue of securities the managing director along with the lead merchant banker the managing director of any company who has been appointed plus the lead merchant banker and the registrar to an issue shall ensure that the basis of allotment is finalized in a fair and a proper manner so on what basis the allotment is going to be done so the shares are issued you have got the subscription now after getting the subscription the allotment has to be done by a company on what basis allotment is going to be made so that has to be made sure by the director including the um, lead merchant banker and the registrar of issue then proportionate allotment procedure an allotment shall be made on a proportionate basis within the specified categories the proportionate allotment of security is is an issue that is oversubscribed shall be subject to reservation of retail individual investors as in the details in the following sometimes when there is a oversubscription right so how many subscriptions are required more than that subscriptions you have received or subscription has been done in that case there is a proportionate allotment procedure done so a minimum 50 percent of net offer of securities to public shall initiate initially be made available for the allotment of retail individual investors as case may be the balance net offer of securities to the public so in that individual applicants other than in uh, retail individual investors and other investors including corporate bodies will be invo involved so here 50 percent of net offer of securities to the public shall initially be made available for allotment so out of total subscription so 50 percent of net offer of securities will be made to the public the unsubscribed portion of the net offer to any one of the category may be made available for allotment so these are the things which are very